Hey besties, as you guys know, I'm a lesbian and I did this video on TikTok and a lot of people liked it. So I wanted to do something similar on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the perfumes that women I've dated have liked and perfumes they have disliked and some that are kind of in the middle. So if that sounds interesting, definitely keep watching. Grab yourself a little coffee. We can laugh about it. We can talk. Starting with a fragrance that a girl did not like on me. So this was my girlfriend at the time. I got this fragrance. It's the Eilish number no. two and I was so excited. My mom got it for me and shipped it to me for my birthday and at the time me and her were living together and it was just so funny because I put it on and I could just tell she didn't like it but I kept asking. She put it on. I put it on. I liked it more on her but on me she felt like it was way too um, masculine which I also do agree with it's very incensey woody spicy there is some citrus but personally for me as well it's not my favorite so when she said she didn't like it my feelings were not too hurt with that one but just putting it out there she she did not like this one. She didn't think it sucked on her, but she thought it sucked on me. And honestly, sometimes when I put it on, I do, I do feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of like from Twilight, like, or something like that, or Vampire Diaries more specifically. Like, it really puts me in that type of headspace, and I do like that when I want to feel a little bit different and out of my own element, you know? It's kind of fun, like, clothes, like how you can wear different clothes to fit a different aesthetic. That's how I feel every time I wear this fragrance, but it is not my favorite. Mixed with number one, it's tolerable. Next up is a fragrance very well loved from the women I've dated. This one is Mesa Mataha's Escapade Gourmand. Not only the women I've dated, but my friends love this fragrance. It is so beautiful, such a gorgeous burnt sugar vanilla. It is addictive to me and also addictive to those I've dated. I remember I got into the car of a girl I was dating, like I had just met her. Like we talked on the phone a little bit. I got into her car and immediately she thought I smelled amazing. What I did, because all we did was go to <laughs> McDonald's, y'all, because everything else was closed and I didn't want to go to Waffle House. That was open and I didn't want to go there at the time. Um, I wanted a cheeseburger, but uh, it was 4th of July and I remember I got into the car. I put a little bit of this on with musk 12 from kaoli that way it didn't smell like i was completely trying too hard and as soon as i got in the car she was just like what are you wearing and so i just kept wearing it when i go on dates with her and she really enjoyed it a lot of people love this on me not even just people i've dated but also my friends like when i took this on my cruise i brought like eight different perfumes and i let all the girls in the room smell it and this was by far their favorite. So this is just so beautiful, very, very complimented, and so many people love it and for such good reason. And this is one where it's gonna make the other person wanna get close. Like it's so, so good, you guys. It's so tasty. Next up, I feel like she said she liked it, but then when she made this comment, I wasn't too sure. Valentino, Donna Born, and Roma Coral Fantasy. Now I have got so many compliments on this perfume from family, from friends, and also even from girls I've dated like others. But this specific girl told me that I smelled good, but then the more she smelled me, she said I smelled like her grandma. And no offense to grandmas, you know, but I don't wanna smell like the person I'm talking to's or was talking to's grandma. So it kind of threw me off and it made me not wanna wear it. And when I said, is that a bad thing? She kind of just laughed and was like, no, no, I'm just saying. And after that, I never really wore it with her specifically. So yeah, you guys, it's not that she said she didn't like it. I don't even know which category to put it. But again, I don't really wanna smell like her grandma. But her grandma has good taste. Is really that girl. Super beautiful, very, very pretty girl fragrance. Another fragrance I absolutely adore to wear on dates and gets so many compliments is Wyasa Lieb Eau de Perfume. This fragrance is so beautiful. It's confident, bold, edgy, so beautiful. It's fresh, aromatic, sweet, citrusy, musky, so just breathtaking to me. There's some florals. I love this. I think that this one really announces your presence and it does project pretty well. 
So for me, I feel like every single time I've wore this on a date when I want to get wined and dined, I've gotten a compliment not only from my dates but also from, you know, the waitress, waiter, whoever's around. This is a beautiful fragrance that has just been so, so, so so loved. You don't get compliments like you smell so sexy, just like you smell really, really nice and expensive. I feel like some people will be shocked by this one. This is Lancome Idole Nectar. This is a very beautiful rose vanilla popcorn caramel scent. I really like the addition of the popcorn, I think it smooths out the fragrance a little bit because it gives it a little bit of like a buttery quality. So it's rose, it's floral, it's sweet. It is very, 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 very floral though, I will say, and almost a little soapy. So I do understand why she didn't like it, but I felt so bad, poor thing, was laying on my chest and just kept smelling it and she she actually got a headache. I felt so bad and she said, what is that scent you're wearing? And I told her and she said, oh... It's just that my head started to hurt and it wasn't until after I laid on you, so I feel like it might have been your fragrance. It's just a little too sharp. So she didn't say it was a little too sharp, but that's what she was kind of getting at. It was, she said it was too strong, too florally. So yeah, and I can get that. I can totally understand. Like for some people, this might be way too much, um, especially I'm in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if something is super strong, sometimes that with the heat is not the best combination so I don't like dislike it but she 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 definitely did and you know it just wasn't her favorite you could tell and a huge compliment getter from dates is Valentino's Donna Born in Roma and then also Donna Born in Roma intense either one beautiful if you want something more mature more date night that one is really good I like this one more for day dates but I also could wear it for date nights this is fun flirty sexy fruity, warm, florally, a little candied like, and every time I wear this, I get feral reactions. This is so delicious and so well loved every single time. And I would say this one is definitely more complimented than the intense, but that one also does get good reactions. Just nowhere close to with the original. And you guys, I'll never forget when I first tried Vanilla Royale. I was so excited to put it on. I had bought it blindly. I was so super excited. I put it all over my body. And I'll never forget her walking into the room and asking, what is that? Not like, what is that? Like, babe, what is that? Like, what's that new fragrance? I love it. No, no, no. What is that? Like, she was off-put by this fragrance, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it, I was a little bit too, just because I truly feel like it had to sit for a little bit longer, it had to macerate, but y'all, she was not feeling this fragrance, she was not a fan, she felt like it was way too just... Honestly, I think she thought it was like putrid, but now I really enjoy it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think she liked it as it sat longer too, but at the time when I first initially bought it and tried it, she just thought it smelled like PU, and I don't blame her because I felt similarly, so... But now this is my girl. This is my babe. This is so beautiful. And also, I was just getting into fragrances, so I really did not have, like, the want for something with patchouli oud and rum like it just wasn't appealing to me at the time but now this is just one of my favorite fragrances in my whole entire collection but yeah she was like what is that and i was like and these are all super different but they also have similarities like i feel like when i think about one i kind of think about the other and for that reason these get so many compliments it's insane i'm gonna talk about them all really quickly Delina the original from Parfums de Marly. This one is such a beautiful pretty girl fragrance. I get told I smell so good every single time I wear these fragrances. Both of these, they're so good. This one is definitely a little bit better for like everyday wear. And then we have Delina Exclusive, which is more of a, there's oud in this one, there's vanilla. It's definitely more hot, heavy, luxurious, and um, a little bit to me, it's better to wear in colder weather, but I wear it whenever I want to smell sexy. This is so beautiful, and this one also gets compliments. Then this one is Angel Nova, and Angel Nova actually gets an obscene amount of compliments, especially from the most recent girl I was talking to 
too. She loved this fragrance so much. Every time that I wore it, she told me I smelled like flowers. And it's funny because it's a very fruity, um, floral, woody type of fragrance, but that's what she told me every time I wore it. She said, you smell flowery and I love it. And in fact, when I wouldn't wear this fragrance, she missed it on me. So this one is such a beauty. And then Very Good Girl is also so good. I remember the last time I wore it, I got told I smelled yummy. This one is also very, very complimented for dates. I've put some of my friends on to this one just because it's so good. And you can get a similar feel to the Delinas with this fragrance without completely oh, breaking the bank. Yeah, it's so so good oh and also while I'm talking about similarities um, this one is also really great and even more affordable this one is our moth club de nuit imperial and this one is more similar to Delina exclusive so this one is $50 this one is 350 what sounds better to you it's not gonna be 100% the same nothing's better than the original to me but this is also really really great I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please do not hesitate to comment down below your most complimented perfumes from the people you've been on dates with and also if you have any fun like funny stories to tell my funniest story probably with a perfume with a different person was was probably when my ex said what is that like the way she said it was just so funny and then also when I was on a date like not super recently but I was on a date and let's just say do not put fragrance on your neck if you are you know having a fun date or whatever like that with a person you really like and you know you're intimate with please do not put fragrance on your neck it is a uh-oh it is embarrassing and honestly I felt so bad for her because she was like <laughs> so funny I feel so bad um but yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. Bye.